All right, I'm off camera this whole video. Um, people are still confused on how to record, and I'm not a professional teacher, so I make assumptions sometimes when I shouldn't, and so I've done videos on how to record, but never actually showed you how to make it record. So, here's what we do. First, we pick the track we want to record on. Okay, we hit song. Go back, it's easier than going all the way through everything. Okay, these are ones that I uploaded using the USB thing. Then you get to use your tracks. That's the ones you can record on. You get five. And I've got some stuff with things on them, so let me find a blank one so I don't lose something. To record. Make sure you've got all your styles and everything else set up. Okay, you're still on your user song. When you hit song, you're still at user four. Press record and the track you want to record on. You get five tracks and the accompaniment track. That records your style sound. So if you have a drum rhythm um, with the accompaniment stuff going on. I didn't mean to hit that button. If you have something like that going on. Okay. That will only record if you're recording the accompaniment. So how do you actually record? Press record and the track. So hit record one. You're hitting them at the same time. Okay? That means now it's ready to record on track one. You can see there it says the user number that I'm on. Record is ready. Track one is ready. You can see the measure count. It's not moving yet. Okay, as soon as I hit a note, it's going to start recording. So ready and see how the track, the measure's moving? Because that means it's recording. You can start recording manually by hitting the start stop button. Also use that to stop the actual recording. So I'll hit stop. It says writing. And it's saved. Now. You've recorded track one, now you can hit record two. Say on this time you want to also record the style sound. You can also then hit record accompaniment. But you can see at this point, two and accompaniment are both blinking. That means they are ready to record as soon as I hit a note or as soon as I start it with this. Okay, now also you can record right over another track. So one, we did that one note, we can go and hit record one, record right over it. Let me real quick record on track one to make this point real quick. Okay, just wanted to get something on that track. Now, if I go, I can record another layer. So let me change to another instrument. A guitar. Okay. I can record on track two. So let me hit record two. I don't want to start right on my first note. So I'll hit this to start recording and then I'll start playing. Now, another thing you can do is say I want to record a third layer. Okay. I can go and hit record three. And you see it's blinking three because it's ready to record on track three. But say I don't want to hear that first original piano part. I just want it to only play track two while I'm recording this time. You can hit one right now, and that'll shut one off so it doesn't play back while you're recording. See what I mean now? So three is ready to record, two is gonna play back while I'm recording, and one I shut off. I could turn one back on so it will play while I'm recording, or I'll shut it off. So now that little piano 
chord rhythm won't play when I hit record on this time. For example, remember I started a little late and it's just that. Okay, let it ride in. So now you can play back the same way if like with recording whichever one you want to record and letting it play back while recording. Same thing, I can hit start. Okay, I can shut off that guitar. Shut off the piano for a second. Okay, all individually controlled and which one you want to record on and which one you want to actually hear while you're recording. Final thing you may want to do is delete an entire track. Okay? Hit A, 1, and record all at the very same time. And then you get clear user, yes. That means it actually wants you to go over and press the, sorry, and press the yes button on the keypad to the right. Right over there. Ignore my sticky note. Trying to remember stuff. Yes. Then, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Writing. And it's clear. This is a good side note. Sounds you like and everything to get to them quicker if you don't want to save them all in your Regist um, registry memory and all that stuff. Actually, I, I live with sticky notes. They're everywhere. Helps me out. Especially when you're writing something completely new and you're trying to keep your thoughts straight. So hopefully that makes some sense on how to actually record with the Yamaha.